Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor and comedians Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock took some honest jabs at Will Smith this past weekend, roasting him pretty good. I want to break them down and talk about the state of Will Smith because I've seen a lot of Johnny Depp fans comparing Shia and Will and Johnny all together. Should we be comparing these three people? Is Hollywood treating them all equally? Let's break it all down, shall we? All right, first I want to start up with what happened over the weekend where both Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle called out Will Smith. Now, Will Smith's been slowly getting himself back online. As you can see, he's slowly starting to post some things. Uh, but there was that video he posted a little while back uh, that uh, <laughs> it does look like a hostage video. I'm not going to lie. The weird text at the start, mm -hmm. the out of focus, the whole crew getting in there as Will seems nervous to even get in there. It's like, all right, Will, how much uh, is your ransom? Um and he's in that sort of area that it feels like, you know, they tape table talk Why and everything didn't else. Why did you apologize to Reading Chris the in your acceptance speech? Um, I was fogged out by that point. It's just weird. And uh, Chris Rock has slammed it by labeling it a hostage video. F your hostage video. He took the stage, dedicated a small portion of his set talking about Will Smith, during which he said, F your hostage video, in an apparent response to the viral video Smith posted. Uh, as in previous sets, the comedian noted the stinging effect of slap, Smith's slap. Yes, that, that S hurt. He played Ali. I can't even play Floyd Mayweather. He also referred to Will Smith as Suge Smith, in reference to the former Death Row Records music executive Suge Knight, who is currently serving a 28-year jail sentence for... Uh, blah, blah, blah. He then swiftly moved on to say that he'd been back at work the following day after it and was not a victim before discussing an array of topics from Trump's election to dating habits of the Kardashian family. Now, you got to understand people. I've seen some people like, oh, my God, Chris, it's been months. Move on. He's doing a show. He does the same jokes, most of the same jokes in every city he's visiting. And sometimes he mixes it up and he adds things. When he first came out, people were sad he didn't do jokes about Will Smith. And so clearly he's starting to integrate some of those into his set. So I don't blame him. Everything he's doing every night is sort of a rehash of material that he's testing out to see what works. Uh, so uh, he's doing it also. You're not supposed to be filming it, not supposed to be out there. It's him and the sort of audience each night sharing that moment together, right? So I'm not surprised he's doing these jokes, and I'm sure he gets big laughs from the crowd when he brings it up. Now, uh, Rock was followed by Chappelle, who referred to that moment in May when he had that incident on the stage in L.A., uh, he said he is now weary of performing on stage because he can no longer tell the crowd if they'll be hostile or not. That was some scary S, he reflected, before saying that Rock upstaged him that night, making the joke about, you know, was that Will Smith? When uh, Dave Chappelle had that incident happen on stage. Chappelle later added he doesn't know what his response would have been if he had been, you know, Chris during that incident on the Oscars, but he's certain the actor would not have enjoyed the rest of his night at the award show. Uh, he walked out on stage to uh, Radiohead and... Um, Talked about a lot of topics, including his Netflix specials, the, the the employees at Netflix, you know, staging a walkout. But he ended himself, his set, imploring audience members to be themselves, unlike Smith, who he claimed did an impression of a perfect man for 30 years. I just hope he doesn't put that mask back on. Man, that's, he's totally spot on. And that's why I really wanted to do this video. Like, was Will Smith a fraud? Was he a fraud is really the question I want to ask you guys because he kind of seems like he was. For a while there, he was putting up this aura, right? The bread and business, the, the bread and butter of his business was social media. He would always tell Jada this all the time. And uh, the reality was, was he being himself? Was he being genuine to everybody? Or was that the persona he wanted everyone to sort of see him as? As we now see him finally, you know, unleash, uh, justified or not, Based on Jade and other things, he should have done, you know, what he did to Chris. But I mean justified in that, did he need to let loose? Has he been living a lie his entire life? Sure seemed that way. Sure seems like he needs to do some serious self-reflection and quit pretending to be someone he's not. Because if he's a guy who's going to get upset and do that type of behavior, well, then there's a lot more of the Will Smith person than we thought we knew. And what a surprise. Celebrities are human beings. Um... Look, I, I don't fault Will. I, he has paid a price. His stock has gone down. However, if you really look at it, his Instagram's gone up. He's grown tremendously since the slap, and he's you know he's still got a lot of fans. And while you can go and see some you know drops here and there on certain days uh, on his Instagram, overall his gains are huge. 
uh, especially from that from the incident with the back uh, in the day in uh, of August or so was this April? This uh, yeah, this was right about afterwards. Uh, anyway, this is the dates. I'm sorry, I'm looking at them. It's, it's unclear. There's a huge spike. Here it is. Um, a huge spike back in uh, after the Oscars. Um, and a huge spike when that, or it's, here's the instance when it happened. Here was a huge spike when it happened. Um, and so he's maintained his following. He's still got 20, 63 million followers. Now, what, it, what happens to Will Smith? I mean, he's back on Instagram. It's nice to see him attempting. He's posting little things. Uh, this one did make me laugh. I got to be honest. I'm trying to tell y'all, don't worry about what people say about you. They're going to try to belift you. They're going to try to sellize your name. They're going to try to sabotage you. They're going to just try to do anything they're trying to do to destroy you. To destroy you. Don't let him salvatize your name. Don't let him do it. He's Look, he's getting out there, and surely enough, he's getting his fans to like it, and they're supporting him. And uh, you know, celebrity friends are out there supporting him. I do believe Will Smith deserves a second shot. I do. Uh, I like him as an actor. I want to see him act, although as a person in the, the Red Table Talk reality show, I wish that would just go offline for a little while, and he, especially with him in it, and he could focus on him and not have every part of his life exposed. He's still in social media doing some things from time to time with his uh, quarantine beard, it seems, uh, and spending time with his family. And good for him. He can afford to do that, and he should take some time off and just regroup and figure out what is he, what, how, do you, how do you be the real Will Smith moving forward? Because you could probably be even bigger and better if we're being honest, right, if he really is genuine moving forward and shares more of those struggles and stop have, putting that fake mask on him. Yay, hey, it's me, Will Smith. Um I, I hope he, he grows genuinely from this and we get to see the real person moving forward instead of the persona. But it's hard. I got to be honest. As I watch these videos, you know, he's out there in his Westbrook production <laughs> hat with his Bel Air attire. He's still sort of marketing himself as a brand. Even all like this piece where he's like, in, uh, in the, you know, uh, remarking in the on the in Ecuador, peacocks in his house. And uh, this is the type of stuff that happens in Ecuador. It's all produced. Someone's editing the music. <laughs> and then there's graphics and a lot of stuff just happened. I'm just like, do you have to overproduce it all? Like, you know, Instagram doesn't always have to be that way. Granted, I know your Westbrook Productions is supposed to be about promoting and being like a, you know, marketing firm for influencers. I get it. But it just, it starts to feel a little less genuine when you're like, I made a little video, go put that together. I don't know. Just sometimes I want to see just real unedited, raw Will Smith. Um, and not with all the brands and water and Jaden's water company and his companies. Just what, what would you actually wear? Well, instead of promoting your shirts, just be yourself, dude, just be yourself for a few days on social media. Let's see what that person's like. That's what I'd like to see. Now, all that said, I, I do think Will's going to have a comeback. He absolutely will. He needs to find the right project. Hollywood loves the comeback stories. Uh, but what's interesting is online bringing it to Johnny and uh, Shia Shy is out there, I guess, in this comeback tour, people are calling it, because he got he's starring in Francis Ford Coppola's $100 million epic. Now, I, let's be clear. This is not a comeback tour. This is a this is a good gig for him. It's a it's a big movie, but it's a self-financed movie by Francis Ford Coppola, who obviously supports people going through second chances. He's done that a lot in his career. And he's not doing this through studios. He's doing a dream project, Megalopolis. Shia LaBeouf is a fantastic actor. Like him or not, he's a fantastic actor. And Shia is doing a, uh, you know, a tour of, I don't want to call it the redemption tour. I think he's trying to take some accountability. At the same time, though, he in doing so, he's admitted to doing some of the things, it seems, that he's been accused of by uh, FKA Twigs. And so by admitting this in the interview, he's sort of, well, I did the crime. And he's out there, you know, being lauded and, and rewarded. But meanwhile, Will Smith is still hit, hidden and torn to shreds, blacklisted because of a slap. But Ezra and Shia are actively getting work. Make it make sense. That's the drama. And then Shia in his interview, stupidly, and we'll probably talk about this later today in our live, Shia stupidly alluded to, you know, well, I don't want to go on some big celebrity trial and draw it all out. Well, you are. She's taking you to trial and you are going to go to trial and you are going to, you've already made it clear. You're some of the stuff she's saying isn't true. So it's going to come out in the trial. You're doing the public trial by releasing 
uh, Florence Pooh's uh, texts. So uh, I thought this was a genuine Shia. Which is it? Um, it's making me realize we got to be a little bit more careful around Shia. While I support everybody's journey to recovery, which I th sounds like he was doing, um, you know, the real way you prove that is through time. And uh, I'm sure he's got a lot of support and friends, and, and, in, and especially in this industry because he is a really talented actor. It doesn't sound like he was causing the drama that Olivia Wilde was trying to spew out there, but it does sound like he has hurt people in his life. He's admitting this. Uh, but look, admitting it is the first sign. So where do you stand on all this? Should he have spoken up about Johnny? No, that was definitely a foot and mouth, stupid, ignorant thing to say, especially since you're doing it too, Shia. Uh, aside from that, what are your think thoughts on Shia? Do you feel like, you know, it's fair that he's getting cast this movie? Will, meanwhile, Will Smith isn't getting those offers, nor is really Johnny. Johnny's getting more independent stuff. That said, this is definitely an independent movie. This movie, who knows if we'll ever even see it, Megalopolis. It's a very independent, hugely expensive movie, only because Francis Ford Coppola has saved up and is spending his own money on it. This has been a dream of his for years. Um, he can do it however the hell he wants, and that includes hiring Shia LaBeouf if he wants to. Uh, but you know, is Will Smith paid the price? Should he be able to go back and start making movies again? Should studios feel confident? What are your thoughts on this? I want to hear your thoughts down below. Uh, is also Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle, right? I think so. It really did look like a hostage video. <laughs> and it does feel like a knock on Jada, which honestly, I would love to see Chris do a whole routine on Jada. Please, Chris, don't hold back. Chris and, and Will, Take some notes from Dave Chappelle. Be your genuine self. Walk away from that Comedy Central money. Don't hide. Be yourself. It'll pay off in dividends. I learned that myself. Uh, so stay tuned for more here. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We'll talk about this more on our live, along with so much other news uh, later today around 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope to see you guys there.